And we've assembled that power panel that I promised you. Please welcome back Buddha Katan, New York Times bestselling author, motivational speaker, Rachel Hollis, comedian, actress, disability advocate, Masoon Zaid, and business coach, multi-million air entrepreneur, Nicole Water Walters. Thank you so much for joining us. As I promised, I'd like for our audience to be able to get this advice, because it's not often they have access to four amazing women like yourself. So we have an audience member, Chelsea. She's got a question for our panel. Chelsea, what's your question? Hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm from New York, and my question is for May Soon. As a comedy writer, I'm very inspired by you and your work. And my question is, how do you use comedy to celebrate yourself and others who may feel like they don't fit into the status quo? Miss Soon, <laughs> that is such a great question. Um, I just, again, it's all about telling your story and making sure that you use your jokes and your comedy to tell the world something that no one but you can tell them. That's what it's all about. It's about grounding it in like, what is the message that I have to tell the world that no one else can tell them? Yeah. But anytime you're doing comedy, you got to let go of the message and focus on the entertainment. You have to make sure people are laughing first. If you're doing mm -hmm. comedy just to like lecture people or teach them, then become a public speaker. It's fun <laughs> and you don't have the pressure of punchline. <laughs> but uh, first make them laugh and then let them tell them something only you can tell them. Yeah. Tell your story. I love that. And Nicole, you know, I was thinking about the fact that you um, quit your job live and a lot of people think you take that risk I think, um, who do we talked about it? You have these naysayers around you. How did you keep that from consuming you? The fear of failure, the fear that the decision you made may not actually work or succeed. Well, I'm a God girl. And I believe that every single one of us has a purpose that's been put on our heart. And I'm actually far more scared that I'm not using the story that's been put into my life to change someone else's life that's still suffering from the thing that I've been delivered from. So it matters to me more to wake up every single day and take the lessons that I've learned and apply them to change other people's lives. So yeah, there'll be naysayers. Yeah, you're going to have to fight through it, but you got to do it afraid. And you still got to show up because the greater purpose is what really matters. Rachel, another TAM fan mm -hmm. member taped a question for you. Let's play that one. Hi, I'm Annie Bainey. I'm from Portland, Oregon. And my question is for Rachel Hollis. Uh, Rachel, I love your podcast. I've read your books. And my question is, how do you deal with insecurities and doubts um, when you're launching a new business venture? That's a big question. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good one. It's a good one, Annie. I think, uh, and I'm going to lose my earpiece simultaneously. So here's the deal. The, the crazy thing about doing anything new is that in order to get confidence to do this new thing, you actually have to do it. But as we're standing on the precipice of something, it feels so daunting and so scary. And so I think about what Nicole just said, like you have to do it scared. Yeah. The way that you're going to gain confidence is through knowledge, through trying. And like we talked about earlier, through failure. Yeah. I have failed a million times. Like it, Annie, if you are seeing my career and you are impressed by it at all, <laughs> then please know that you are looking at someone who has fallen over and over and over. And I just stand back up and go again. Yeah. Um, I think when people talk about failure, we're not afraid of failing. We're afraid of other people watching us fail. Mm -hmm. And that's about your ego. That's not really about, can I do this job? That's about what will people think if I don't get it right? So I just release any, any perfection, any needing to have it all figured out. And I just go, I stand yeah. back up and I go again. And through that process, yeah. you are going to find your confidence and your courage to keep leveling up. Huda, you talked about having an identity crisis um, because you felt that you weren't good enough. I know that you've launched the new skincare line focused on aging because we all wake up at some point and say, wait a minute, I don't look like I was 20. <laughs> I'm not 20 anymore. And that's a part of the journey now. But you also talk about building that tribe and the community of friends and people we need, like your sister who lifted you up to launch this brand. Yeah, and it's, it's funny. Identity is a really funny thing because, um, you know, it, we have a story. 
You know, we if we are lucky, we become masters of that story. We lean into it, we own it, it becomes everything that defines us. And, you know, it's very powerful. You know, your story can be very powerful, but then at some point too, it kind of, you know, it, it caps who you are, there's a ceiling. So for me, I, I thought I was like this glamorous person. When we launched skincare, I was like, well, I, I can't be a person who takes off my makeup and, and shows myself not Photoshopped and, and not, you know, wearing makeup. And I was like, no, I, I, I want to lean into that. I want to actually, you know, undress all those things and, and, you know, kind of expose myself. And, and when we shot the campaign, I remember feeling very vulnerable. I was like, oh my God, like here I am in front of these cameras feeling like I can't depend on the Photoshop. I don't feel comfortable because I'm not posing. Like mm -hmm. I, I was, I was very vulnerable and I was like, lean into this. You deserve to feel loved. You are that person who has been saying that now lean into it. And your team around you. And, and as I said, your sister helped you do that. Masoon, I was thinking so often we all feel alone, no matter, you could be in a crowd of people and still feel alone. Yeah. And a part of the chapter that you are pursuing in your life is to make sure that people in the disability community don't feel alone as you have, as I have, Cole, Rachel, who to all of us people watching, we have felt alone. And you want to make sure you set a seat at the table for the folks you call the disco. Yeah, <laughs> the disco. So that's disability community. And I always say welcome to the disco because it's the one group that you can join at any time, whether you want to or not. And um, I was so blessed and lucky that I had parents that didn't frame me as a burden, that didn't exploit me, that didn't abuse me. But so many disabled people don't have that. And in addition to that, so many of them are bullied mercilessly day and night. And so what I say to people is, if you can't find anyone to cheer for you, cheer for yourself. <laughs> like, figure out the person you want to be. Be that person and cheer for yourself. But also disco and the hashtag disco is because there's an incredible, incredible community of disabled people online. Like, you know, Twitter is like Star Wars. There's light and dark. And we're the light <laughs> side. And we're there to tell people, like, you know, disabled people are not all happy snowflake angel babies. Yeah. We're not all white men. Yeah. So I also concentrate on a <laughs> lot, you know, on the fact that I'm cinnamon. I look like the lost Kardashian. I'm Muslim. You know, there's so much intersectionality. Every community has disability. And all I'm trying to do is say, you know what? We're not the biggest fear. Mm. So many people think they'd rather be dead than disabled, and we're living it up. Living so it come up. come to the disco. Welcome to the disco. Welcome to the disco. Um, you know, Rachel, I was sitting here thinking, you've got your podcast, Fave Faves. I love quotes. Full disclosure, that wonderful woman who wrote the, uh, who, the book on aspirational and inspirational quotes, I'm in there, and I've known her for... 30 years, because she knows I love a good quote. I love a good thing to take with me, write it down in my purse. What is the thing that sticks with you looking forward? Is there an inspirational quote? Is there a mantra? Well, I tend to change up my mantra depending on the season that I'm in. And so right now it's actually a question oh. that I keep asking myself, which is, are you interested or are you committed? Because those are two very different things. Right. Oftentimes, we'll talk about a way that we want to change our life or something that we want to pursue, whether that's in health or our relationship or our companies. And people will talk a mm -hmm. lot, but don't often take action. Yeah. And so I'm just constantly asking myself, Rach, yeah. are you just interested or are you committed? Because if you're committed, then we need to act in a that. different way. I love that. My husband gave me a quote, and I love it. He said, are you going to be a participant or a witness? And that sticks with me. And I'm Ooh. like, you know what? I know. That's why I married him. Is that like, you're going to be a participant <laughs> or a witness. And I am so happy to have witnessed all of the power that you four have shared today. And I cannot say thank you enough for joining us today. And by the way, there's so much going on and we can keep the conversation going. Check out Rachel's book. Her new book is Didn't See That Coming, available on bookshelves now. To find out more about Maysoon Zaid, pick up her memoir, Find Another Dream, and go to TamronHallShow.com to find out more information of Huda Katan's new product line. I know you see it on my face right now. Wishful Skin Care, which features her world-famous Thirst Trap Juice. Yes. <laughs> Be sure to tune in. She's the Boss, starring Nicole Walters. That is on USA Network. Ladies, thank you all for joining us. We're going to keep this conversation going. We're going to lean in with the power of sharing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.